Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. In this reading today guys, we're going to take a look and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Scorpio, this is a general reading. I always advise just to take what you need from this and leave what doesn't apply. We're going to dive on in and give these cards a good shuffle and we're just going to see what's what's surrounding you in love in the upcoming days and week if you feel that you are connecting to the messages then be sure to show your support the best way you can do that scorpio is by liking sharing and subscribing so spirit angels and guides please show us what is surrounding Scorpio in love in the upcoming days and week. Spirit angels and guides, please show us what is surrounding Scorpio in love in the upcoming days and week. Scorpio, I woke up with a kinked neck this morning, so let's hope that it does not spasm during this reading. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Oh, so you've got the stone. The stone is surrounding you in love. So why do I get the sense that Scorpio is um, starting to go cold? I'm sensing that you might be starting to go cold with somebody here or you may feel like someone is being cold with you. You know, if I think of a stone, I think of when I pick it up, I, I touch it and it's very cold and it's very hard. So someone's being cold and hard with you or this could be you you're starting to you know with your emotions you're hardening your heart and you're starting to like come across like you don't care um, but I feel this is for protection I feel you were doing this to protect yourself okay now I am seeing a triangle here so for some of you, the triangle to me can represent third party energy. We have three sides here. Okay, so you could be trying to protect yourself because this person has uh, betrayed you or hurt you in some way. Um, and you know, this stone, there's a stone in the center here and there was a circle here surrounding the stone. So I feel that circle is speaking to a commitment you know you were heavily committed to this person and this person may have put you in a situation that you did not want to be in so let's um let's take to the cards now and see what else is coming through so spirit angels and guides what messages do you have in regards to our Scorpio in love, oh, I forgot to say happy birthday, Scorpio. Happy birthday to all of my Scorpios. We are now in Scorpio season. So a big, big, um, yeah, big, big shout out to all my Scorpios who are celebrating a birthday here today or this week. Okay, so we've got the Two of Swords, uh, sorry, not the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands coming into reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Tower card. So very quickly here, I see with the Ten of Cups that, you know, this was your happily ever after. Okay, at some point or at one point, you and this person had something beautiful together. Okay, you both made each other happy. Um, this was an equal give and take relationship, but something changed, something shifted here with the Tower card. I feel there could have been an unexpected blow up. Okay, um, I feel Scorpio that you may have you know, confronted this person, you know, even you confronting the situation or blowing up, even it may have even caught you off guard. But it had to happen. Okay, something had to give, something had to change. Why is that? Because you've got the six of pentacles here, it is in the reverse. So clearly, you know, the dynamic has shifted. 
the dynamic has shifted. Someone who was giving to you, you feel like here they're not giving to you in the way that they did when you first met or when you first started out. Okay, all of a sudden I'm sensing here that Scorpio, you're pulling into yourself. Okay, you were ha you're happy to give to any relationship. You're happy to give and give and give if this person is doing the, the same in return. You know, when Scorpio is happy in love, they're the most generous and the most giving. But I feel that you've stopped with the two of wands in reverse. This is like you're not take you're not doing that. Whatever you were doing, you were not you're not doing that now. You've realized here with the the tower card that you're changing or you've needed to make some necessary changes. Yeah, you've got the King of Swords in reverse. You could be connecting to an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel that you're detaching. Yeah, this is you going stone cold on somebody here. Mm, look at this. The second card coming through is the Nine of Pentacles. You're coming into your own Scorpio this week, I feel. I feel like you're starting to come into your own confidence okay you're feeling more confident you're you're feeling more self-assured especially with this decision to pull back and to stop giving yeah you i don't feel that you're second guessing your actions you've got the queen of pentacles in reverse i like that it's in reverse because this is again indicating to me that you're not giving to the to the connection and um, you've stopped giving to the relationship. The queen of pentacles in reverse is like, hell no, I'm not gonna keep giving and giving just to get nothing in return. Okay. Um, for some of you, I am getting strong third party energy. So please give me a, a thumbs up if that's you. Because I am seeing three people in the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And you're like saying, hell no, I'd rather be single than be in a situation where I'm the third wheel. Scorpio does not want to be the third wheel. And even with the two of wands here, this is, you know, two people, two situations. And you're like, hell no, I'd rather go stone cold than be, you know, somebody's option. I'm nobody's option. I am, I am first choice. Okay, the next card coming through is the Ace of Cups. So in this spread, the Ace of Cups would speak to self-love. This is, you know your value, Scorpio. You know your worth. You don't need Rosa to remind you who you are. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and the Tower too, this is like, the tower is saying here, Scorpio, like if, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. But I feel that you, you love and you respect yourself too much to be putting yourself in this situation any further. Can we just, uh, Spirit, can we just clarify the Six of Pentacles reversed? Let's get some more info around this. Spirit Angels and Guides, tell us more about this Six of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> Look at this. We've got the Death card clarifying the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And you know, um, if, you're, if you don't know by now, Scorpio, the Death card is Major Arcana for Scorpio. Okay, so you're putting an end to something here. Scorpio is putting an end to something. This is you. You're the water sign here. This is you saying, no, I'm putting a stop to this. I'm putting an end to this. And you, you is being regenerated. I'm seeing like a little plant here and it looks beautiful and green and lush. So you are replenishing yourself. You're regenerating you, yourself. You will bounce back from this. That's what the tower card is. The tower card is like the phoenix rising. Okay, it may feel like chaos and destruction right now, but you will rise. You will rise through the ashes, Scorpio. I have no doubt about it. Okay, um, can we just, I want to be nosy and have a look at this Ten of Cups. 
I, oh, the Nine of Cups. Oh, I'm seeing coconuts and lemons and, oh, is this, I was going to say a cocktail. <laughs> I don't know why, but a cocktail came to mind, guys. <laughs> um, maybe you like maybe both of you like drinking cocktails <laughs> maybe scorpio's going out and drinking cocktails i don't know i'm seeing a cup here and i'm seeing a beautiful cup here but the nine of cups does speak to a wish fulfillment and i feel like the nine of cups clarifying the ten of cups is look you you really did see this going the distance for you um but i feel like now it's about you bringing your own happiness it's not waiting for somebody else to make you happy. No, Scorpio. Scorpio doesn't wait for anybody else to make Scorpio happy. Scorpio goes out and, and makes happy and, and gets happy. Okay, that it, that's generated from within. That's what I feel. So, um, okay, so just for shits and giggles, let's take a look at this person's energy. Spirit angels and guides. We are going to use the animal cards for this. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of the person that Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in the upcoming days and week. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the energy of the person that Scorpio is connecting to. Okay, first card coming through is the butterfly. Now the upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent the element of air. So this could be a strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, I'll take the second card. We've got water energy here with the starfish, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, let's see, we'll just grab one more. Oh, and we've got fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be either of any of those signs that I've mentioned, doesn't have to be, but for some of you, that would be confirmation. Um, okay, so I'm getting here with the butterfly. I don't know why, but I'm getting someone who is very superficial. Okay, someone who is very superficial and someone who was just, you know, in the moment. This is fleeting energy. I don't feel like this person was really in it for the long haul, Scorpio. I just feel like they're a passerby. You know that saying, some people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime? I feel like it's a reason or a season, okay? It, it doesn't feel like lifetime energy for me. Okay, I feel like with the starfish here, you know, look at the starfish. I get always get a sense with the starfish that this person doesn't really try hard. It's kind of like, look at me, look at me. I'm getting strong superficiality around this person. This person is very superficial. Scorpio, you can't do superficial. You need to go deep in a connection. I feel like this person told you what you wanted to hear at the start. I feel like they presented to you as this person that um, you could commit to or you could do life with, but I feel like it was just a facade. Okay, they could only put on that front for so long. But I feel that this person's true colors revealed themselves. To me with the cobra, um, I feel like this person, see, see the cobra here? This looks like a phallic symbol to me. So yes, this person's attracted to you. Yes, they're magnetized to you. Yes, they're drawn to you. They find you magnetic and mysterious and all of those things. But I feel it was for like one thing and one thing only. Okay, they wanted to hit you with their stick. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's, that's what I'm getting here. And if that doesn't resonate, then this is not your reading, Scorpio. But I feel like this person, there's a lot of lust coming through this person, man or woman, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of lust. There's, this person is driven by lust, seduction, sexual desire. Um, physical connection okay this person has no intention of really going much further or deeper than that I'm sorry to say so when you are grabbing this ace of cups and you are loving yourself and you're respecting yourself like kudos to you Scorpio you're doing the right thing 
you are doing the right thing. If you need to go cold, yep, that's just what you do. So let's just grab a Moonology card to close this reading out. Spirit Angels and Guides, what's the last parting message or advice that you have for our beautiful Scorpios who have come to the very end of this video? We're doing it for them. Okay. All right. So this is really interesting. You've got nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay, so I feel like right now the pendulum is swinging. Okay, you're not sure which way to turn or which way to go. Um, but look at the card. Look at the waves. Look at the ocean. It's very turbulent here. Okay, um, these are high tides. So I feel that this person pulls the madness out of you. I really do. And if you are indecisive or if you are unclear or unsure of what decision to make, I feel like it's that. If you are the Scorpio that's reached the end of this reading and this person pulls the madness out of you, then I feel like that's your decision. That, that's, that's the answer. That's all you really need to know. Because with Mutable Moon here, this is someone who can't decide you're connecting and dealing with someone who can't really decide what it is that they want. And do you really want to be with someone like that? So Scorpio, that's your reading. I do hope you enjoyed this. I do hope you found this insightful. Thank you for watching this to the very end. I really do appreciate you. And until my next video, take care.